everybody welcome to the swear corner for those joining us for the very first time welcome you all welcome i'm coming to you with the face again um half done eyebrows actually are the ones that are done and of course my eyeshadow because we are testing new foundation yay Alrighty, the foundation that we're testing has been on the market for a while haven't tried it don't know why but we're trying it today okay so we are testing the l'oreal true l'oreal paris true match foundation this is a super blendable foundation and it is perfectly matches skin color and texture shake well before you so basically all this is and i have them in three different shades um i have them in truffle i have one in What, 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 what are you? Sienna, and then I have one in cocoa because I couldn't decide in the shop what was my shade, and so I decided, you know what, let's just take all of them. So, we're gonna start with truffle, we're gonna shade match first, and it says shake, and this is um, N6 and 9, N9 in truffle. Oh, they're very watery. The, the there. Oh, they're very runny. So the swatch is going to be very weird. Sienna. That there is Sienna. I immediately like Sienna over truffle. And let's see cocoa. And this is another cool because I think it's in. Ooh, cocoa is darker. And that there is cocoa. In person, cocoa is dark. Not so much darker, but it's dark. On camera, it looks like it could be. No, it also looks dark on camera. And then here, Sienna is like the perfect shade, or at least the better shade to go in with. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use all three. We'll use Sienna as the foundation. We we'll use Truffle. Truffle seems very like orange, too weird. Anyway, but we'll use Truffle as maybe highlight, and then we'll use Cocoa as a slight contour. I'm going to use the primer from Wet n Wild. Use a lot now. I'm going to then go in with Sienna. They say shake well. If it's too watery, it's going to suck it back. Even as I'm shaking, I can literally look at how it's coming out. See, it? like it's so watery. I like Sienna. Although immediately she looks a bit too light. But she is so weightless, it's not even funny. Mm. So, I'm gonna put it here because it's so runny. One of the runniest foundations I've seen in a while. Usually, the other ones are thick, even though if they are liquid, they are thick. It is very runny. So, it's a bit too orangey actually. From my end, in natural light, it looks a bit light but not too light. But on camera, it looks really, really orange. So, let's see if Coco cannot save the day. And then I'm gonna try and put Coco. Yeah, Coco is better now that I have shaken her. And I'm going to use a brush to put in the areas that I need it to put so that it stays put 
and this is going to be like contour contour this is going to be more of a very light almost like you know when you do soft makeup something like that so just so we can balance out the rest of the face because that CNA looks a bit too orangey us getting our texture back that's much better so I'm just gonna go over my entire face with this Real full cover foundation and I look orange. I look really really orange. It hasn't given me really the darkness that I need. So let me see if I cannot I'm gonna go in with can't stop one stop. Should I? Yes. Oh, that thing doesn't end up to doesn't look so different from can't stop one stop does it or coco so i'm going to conceal i'm going to go in with l'oreal fellable concealer and because i want to take away from that orange because truffle for me is not looks a little bit like olive more than it looks yellow and i really want to take out some of that yellow because i feel like i look like an oompa loompa i need a bit of different dimensions back in my face And I forget that this infallible conceal primer, I mean concealer, these are matte, like really matte concealers. And so you have to move the product much quicker than, you know, that you, that you would other products. So don't lay so much on your face because look at how it's already sitting. Okay. The blend technically does not look so bad. It's starting to look very like at least multi-dimensional, you know. And I've taken away that orange here under my eye. It doesn't really honestly look so bad. Um, so I'm going to set with the Maybelline Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. This is uh, almost like a white one. I mix it with my Yardley because I don't like the whiteness of the the Maybelline so with the tinted of, of, of Yardley so it gets me like almost like a not yellow really but like just an interesting mix I don't like the white because it doesn't really dry as white it shows up with a bit of like it doesn't dry translucent it dries white basically so the idea is also not too big it's just to set then for contour, I'm gonna go a bit interestingly brown, dark brown, um, and I'm going to go in with the J and I am ABH color, and I'm going to use that brown because that brown can also be used as a contour for dark skin girls. So I'll go in there and just lightly create dimension on my cheekbone. Same on this side. See, I only went in once, so I do that once. Now that I've laid, I'm just gonna blend everything out. At the top, you blend towards your hairline. 
and then here you just do a, I just go according to my cheekbone literally like that I don't go straight so I like to follow that angle of my cheekbone there on my cheeks basically there and then blend it up I am going to use sweet cheeks from NYX and the same brush I'm just gonna pet it into place and then oh color pop I haven't used it in a while I'm gonna use to highlight color color pop oh this pour powder and let's get color pop and with the same brush That looks cool. I really like the way this foundation feels on my face. I don't feel like I applied anything. It looks like I did, but it doesn't feel like it. I haven't had that in a while. I'm just gonna do my eyes with Huda Beauty quickly, just the bottom lid. Right, now I want to do like a very dark lip. So, I'm going to use my MAC Black Lipstick. the final look of this foundations um so yeah I'm back to like short hair for a minute it's gonna be a real minute like like short hair my hair is growing y'all like yeah they're growing anyway so basically this is the final look of the l'oreal paris true match foundation and i feel like mind you i only do two types of powders on my skin I did setting powder under the eye and I did contour. I did not set the rest of the other areas on my face. So here, nothing, literal no powder, no powder, no powder. It's just there, there, and then of course, I did a black lip using my MAC lip sticky here. Um, I just like how gothy makes the whole thing look. <laughs> but the foundations for me are so cool. I still think that maybe I should have let Sienna sit and simmer on her own, but I didn't. I got like a bit like uh and see, and so I used cocoa to just you know the hit the outer areas of my face, and I like how they both blended together very nicely. And I also and I really really like the fact that Hannah come coffee and the my foundation from um, NYX are literally almost the same shade. So I don't know if it means that then in L'Oreal I'm Coco and then in NYX I use Deep Core. That's basically the one that my shade that I use and they're almost literally the same type of undertone. So I like that combination, it looks very, very cool. And the fact that I didn't have to go in and properly go, like contour, like do it separate like third foundation thing. All I did was and then it's naturally a little shower, shower. But I like the foundation. I like the way that it sits on my skin. Very, very cool. Um, yeah. Not my favorite because I had to buy three different foundations. Like, you know, I want to go into the shop and find one. And, you know, like I do when I do with Revlon or with Maybelline. I just go in and know what my shade is. I go and I collect and I walk out. Like, I don't have to buy two or three shades to finesse to look good. I don't like that part. But, anyway, I... I did that also for the sake of experimenting and because I wanted you to, to see like the different ways that even someone like me who has a bit more experience than most they actually also does not always find my shade and I have to like look at them and finesse them also to like fit properly on my skin but that's basically that um I think Coco is my favorite I'm gonna keep Coco as my go-to I don't know what I'm going to do with Sienna but and we'll find uses for her 
and all of that but it's always easy i think i'll be able to find this with other things and keep them together um would i say go out and buy this foundation when it's on sale yes go and do that if it's not i don't think it's all that especially for beginners because of how runny it is i do not like the runniness of it even although when i shook coco um she was a bit thicker than sienna and truffle so i think coco is just my friend i will definitely create a look with just coco by herself um because it's easy for me to, i always say this to finesse dark foundation uh you know then it is for me to finesse light because now you've already gone too light like you highlight you just leave it all of that and you also realize how much dimension your face actually needs like i needed to put up something else that's not so yellow under my eye to at least create a bit of dimension on my face so that's i really look like an oompa loompa so that's it thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next makeup video